Tony Margaret. As a food vendor, she uses charcoal every day to cook up escabeche and other snacks. Her stoves are inefficient, causing her to spend a large portion of her income on fuels. This is Katia, an expectant mother. She cooks indoors using charcoal, which produces large amounts of carbon monoxide, a toxic gas that has been associated with adverse effects such as low birth weight. This is lovely. She cooks using a three stone wood fire. Every day, she and her daughter Ashlove are exposed to large amounts of particulate matter for three hours while cooking. This results in a deterioration of respiratory health over time. The reliance on wood, and especially charcoal, has resulted in the lush forests of Haiti being turned into barren wastelands. This leads to an increase in soil erosion and a decrease in land productivity. Now, less than 3% of Haiti's forests remain. The Haiti Clean Stove Project aims to implement improved cook stoves to replace charcoal and wood cooking in Haiti. Through this, we hope to help families realize cost savings and improved health as an environmentally sustainable manner. One promising technology is known as Top Lit Updraft or T-Lit. This can be used to make micro gasifier stoves that burn efficiently and cleanly whilst utilizing biomass fuels. In T-Lit burning, dry chunky biomass such as sugarcane residues, twigs, or mango pits are placed into the inner cylinder of the stove. Fuel is then lit at the top, causing an updraft that draws more air into the stove. The air that is drawn through fuel is known as the primary air. It has just enough oxygen to start a process called pyrolysis that causes the fuel to release flammable gases. The air moving through the outer cylinder, known as the secondary air, is preheated by the inner cylinder itself. It meets the flammable gases near the top of the stove producing a gas fire. The process of pyrolysis slowly turns the fuel into charcoal that can be used as supplementary fuel or potentially as biochar for soil amendment. Our partners include Dr. Tammy Bond, advisor who specializes in the environmental impact of combustion emission and is on the testing committee for the Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stove. Dr. Paul Anderson, pioneer in the field of Tila gas fire, and Chip Energy, a company that specializes in biomass fuel processing and large-scale gas fires. The team is working to redesign a Tila stove that is culturally integrated, clean, efficient, and affordable. This is done on campus through prototyping, testing, analysis, outreach, and education. We then head out to the field to do the same thing prototyping, gathering expert opinion, and then putting these prototypes to the test. Having done our ethnographic field study, the team now aims to redesign the stoves and start a pilot stove program in the town of Leogan, utilizing waste from this nearby sugar mill as a fuel source. We plan to densify the waste sugarcane residues and work with local entrepreneurs to bring about an economically viable business plan that will last. Haiti Clean Stove Project, human-centered, sustainable, viable design. For more information, visit cleanstove.org.